dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here thank you for your love and your support i really appreciate much but if it is your first time here on this channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe youtube automatically will turn on that notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first one to be notified so please do that and thank you so much <laughs> for subscribing so dear friends in our today's video we are going to be having a story time it's a continuation of Jennifer's love story, a Kenyan lady who found love on an online dating site with a guy from Germany and thought that God had brought a right guy into her life. Also remember, Jennifer is a single mother of one. So after finding that German guy on the dating site, they started dating and you guys that watched part one, you saw how everything was going on very, very well. Yeah. If you did not watch her part one love story, please go back, watch her part one love story, then come back here to watch part two. You will understand very, very well. But those who watched her part one love story, yeah. So they met, all went super, super good and he left. When he left, they were both sad. They could cry on the phone. You know how they miss each other very much. But Louis kept on telling her, you shouldn't cry because very soon I will be back for you. <laughs> and another thing is that they had also talked that Louis will be going to Kenya every after three months. And also another thing to remember, Louis told her that he is in the divorce process says yeah he was supposed to get his divorce this year october so that's why they agreed louis will be going to kenya every after three months so yeah everything kept on going well them communicating and like he promised december 2022 louis went to kenya but another exciting thing is he did not go alone. He went with his youngest daughter. So when he arrived with his daughter, Jennifer's daughter too was around. They decided to book for a big Airbnb which had three bedrooms. Yeah, one for Louis and Jennifer, the second for Jennifer's daughter, and the third bedroom for Louis's daughter because the daughter said wanted time for herself without any disturbances. So yeah, all was good. And Jennifer says they even went along, you know, Jennifer and Louis's daughter. Another thing that Jennifer tells us or remembers is that when they came one morning, they were having breakfast, four of them. So as they were having breakfast, then she hears Louis's daughter talking to Louis like, it's you who asked mom for a divorce, so you shouldn't be complaining, was talking to the father in a very rude, rude way. Something that really shocked Jennifer. Jennifer was like, this kid has no manners. Because <laughs> I can't imagine myself talking to my dad in such a rude way in front of people. But she chose to ignore that, never wanted to interfere. And yeah, they had their breakfast, and after the breakfast, they went sightseeing. So they visited different places among of them is nairobi national park elephant center they really enjoyed good times together and then christmas time came so when christmas time came they spent christmas together you know with louis's daughter and jennifer's daughter four of them then new year spent new year together enjoyed to the fullest <laughs> yeah you know i even asked jennifer if that time they could enjoy the goodies <laughs> she laughed a lot and was like bella you're going to kill me with the goodies <laughs> yes we could enjoy the goodies during that time because you know the kids could sleep in their rooms and we couldn't do it during the day <laughs> we could do it when everyone is asleep yeah <laughs> i felt comfortable at that time you know 
to inject the goodies. <laughs> so new year passed and after the new year celebration passed, Louis's daughter had to return back to Germany because she had to return back to school but Louis chose to remain with Jennifer and Jennifer's daughter because had promised that he will go back to the village wanted to experience the village life you know how they live and everything yeah so he remained and they started planning to go back to the village yeah in Kisumu so all the preparations for them to go to the village were done and when everything was ready they traveled from nairobi to kisumu <laughs> in the village and when they arrived there were welcomed very very well louis adapted really really fast she tells us they could even put the mattress on the floor and sleep on the floor but it wasn't a big deal. He even used those village toilets without any, any problem. Could go to the garden with them. <laughs> he was really enjoying the village life and even liked the way they were living in the village. So after spending good times in the village at Jennifer's grandmother's place, then Louis requested to also visit jennifer's mother's place yeah so jennifer called the mom and told the mom that louis wanted to visit so she prepared and then went when they arrived oh my god her mom had cooked lots lots of food there was another party guys <laughs> and this time around jennifer's brother was there because at first in the village when he came wasn't at her grandma's place but they had met him in nairobi you know just in a rush but this time around was at her mom's place too so louis was really happy of how he was welcomed by jennifer's mother they ate talked and that same same day louis promised jennifer's mother to buy for her a piece of land <laughs> and that's when they started hunting for that piece of land so that he can buy it for her so jennifer tells us they had a variety of options of where to buy that land so they moved around looking at those varieties and in the end settled on one piece of land that Jennifer really liked so much. She was so happy because that was one of her dream to buy for her mother a piece of land. And eventually, <laughs> Louis fulfilled her dream. So after finding that land, he bought it, guys. Until today, can't stop thanking God and Louis for fulfilling her dream. I told you guys in part one that Louis is very, very generous. He did not stop at only buying a land for Jennifer's mother, but paid for Jennifer's daughter school fees, paid for Jennifer's niece school fees, paid for Jennifer's nephew's school fees. Not only those, Jennifer tells us they had a house help. That house help had three kids and was really struggling to pay the school fees of those kids so when jennifer talked to louis louis offered to pay the school fees of those three kids wow and he paid guys also told jennifer you know my divorce is almost reaching to an end very very soon so i want you to go and take a german course i'm going to pay for everything oh my god <laughs> What a generous man. So guys, Louis stayed in Kenya till mid-January this year, guys. <laughs> yeah, That's when he returned back to Germany. So when so, he returned back to Germany for work, then Jennifer in Kenya started preparing to start schooling. So had to talk to her younger sister to be the one to take care of her side hustle business. <laughs> while she would be away the course was supposed to take her german course in nairobi so all was really planned and time came and yes jennifer went to nairobi louis had paid the rent already had paid for that course could give her pocket money oh my god he was fully taking care of her so yeah jennifer tells us 
towards the end of January this year, 2024, started her German school. So here tells us all kept on going very well, them communicating. There was no problem till March 2024 because their communication started going down and down. Tells us before or previously, they could talk two to three hours on a call. They could make video calls, sometimes him working at work and Jennifer may be doing homework, you know, while she was studying her German language. But from that time, things changed completely when it comes to their communication. And I've always said this, when you are in a relationship with a guy, the first thing that will tell you things are not okay is the communication yeah <laughs> if that guy is not communicating as it is supposed to be done then girl you should start to be worried and that's why jennifer started to worry and even confronted him I was like you know what our communication has gone down what's the problem can you please do something about it so guys lewis had to respond and this is how he responded to jennifer concerning their communication going down <laughs> so he was like no you shouldn't worry it's okay it's just that these days it's so overwhelming work my daughter has been sick she has been cutting herself because doesn't want me and her mom to divorce and jennifer here says the guy had diverted all his energy and time to the daughter which was very very fine it was okay to jennifer but again it was really weird the guy who told her that he loved her so much so to her was like no matter you have got so many challenges you told me that you loved me so the challenges that you're going through shouldn't change the way you love me or the way you treat me so yeah he keeps on giving her excuses that it has been really unbearable for him because even the ex-wife is crying a lot doesn't want you know the divorce process the daughter too she's becoming very sick her situation is getting worse day by day even threatening to commit suicide so he tells her things are really really bad the situation is a lot a lot a lot for me but then jennifer remember loved this guy very very much so she tried to understand though <laughs> Her intuition was telling her, this is weird, Jennifer. <laughs> How could he say that? Jennifer, something is wrong. Not her mind, but her heart <laughs> kept telling her, no, just be that understanding girlfriend. And she tells us, is a very patient lady. Yeah. So wanted to give him time so that he can solve his problems. <laughs> Everything will be fine. He will always come back to her. So yeah, they keep on communicating, but not like how it used to be. It keeps going down and down. And then one day, Louis writes to her and is like, you know, I'm really, really confused. <laughs> Jennifer asks him, you're confused? why are you saying that then he says when you send me messages that i love you while i am still living with my ex-wife while i still see her it confuses me the more i think from now onwards you should stop writing to me that you love me yeah so he puts a limitation <laughs> of what she is supposed to to write no i love you you can write everything but i love you no because when you write i love you it confuses me the more and guys jennifer as an understanding girlfriend never wanted to confuse the boyfriend <laughs> so stopped writing i love you but in her heart was really really destroyed even tells us or oh, was telling me bella he really disappointed me to say that so they keep on communicating but you know when you love someone <laughs> those sweet sweet words they will always come out of you so yeah he told her stop writing to me i love you then she stops but sometimes when she could feel like she misses him so much could still write i love you and he could tell her again jennifer i've warned you 
don't write to me i love you because the more you write i love you i get confused the more because i'm already confused i don't know which direction to take so it kept on repeating itself to an extent jennifer was like no i think things are not going the direct way like i expected did she stop no guys she kept on holding on to that relationship so yeah, kept on holding on to that relationship, but tells us after he told her that he doesn't even know the direction to take, that's when she decided to start watching my videos seriously. Yeah. So kept on watching my videos and then one day decided to ask him. So this situation doesn't make me so happy. I want you to tell me, what do I need to do? So Louis told her, please, I request you to give me more time, time to clear my mind. So guys, when he requested for more time, Jennifer was like, it's okay. And told herself, at least he has communicated with me. At least he has told me what is troubling him. I know the divorce process takes lots of time, takes lots of money, his finances is involved, then the ex-wife is also making it very difficult, the daughter too, so I think this man really deserves to be given more time. Decided to continue to be that understanding girlfriend. So here Jennifer says, till that time, yes, they had that problem, of communication but there was no any afro cinema in the past though remembers two <laughs> afro cinemas so the first afro cinema happened when they were just getting to know each other then jennifer opened up you know when you're talking to a guy and i've been telling my babies and you too here i think there is a video i did when i was giving you the tips i told you when you talk to a guy and you see that he is really serious with you he is opening up you can also start opening up little by little but don't tell him all <laughs> about you <laughs> some things you should just keep them for yourself maybe when you get married <laughs> you can tell the guy because even them too they don't tell it all trust me <laughs> i know you who are married already you can agree with me there are some things that you discover later yeah you can't know someone a hundred percent but at least while getting to know each other, get to know that guy 70% or 80%. Then the 21, you will get to know them later. Or the 21, he will get to know them later. So yeah, Jennifer opens up about her life when they were still getting to know each other. So when she opened up, Louis made this comment that didn't sit right into Jennifer's head yeah she tells us <laughs> this guy tells her so you came to the dating sites to search for muzungu to search for greener pasture and run away from the hard life in kenya oh my god jennifer told him no i came to the dating site to search for true love because kenyan men failed me but if you think that of me let's just end it he yeah he was like no don't take it that bad way and blah 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 so they buried it just like that never talked about it again then tells us the second afro cinema <laughs> happened there is a day there was no electricity at her place you africans will understand well <laughs> the electricity problems that we have yeah so there was no electricity and then louis calls jennifer so when jennifer peeked it was a video call louis tells her i can't see you you're so black i can only see your teeth and your eyes what <laughs> she was really surprised at that comment but never said anything but it remained in her head like why would he make such kind of a comment so those were the only afro cinemas that they heard 
till that time when they started having problems of communication so friends before we go further i would really want to talk about few things yeah to help you you who is on online dating sites searching for the right guy for that quality guy because that is what i wish for you guys last time i was talking to one of my best friend she was telling oh my god bella these days i'm seeing very horrible horrible things of ladies married to white guys and i think bella <laughs> <laughs> for you you won the jackpot to be honest <laughs> but it's not all about winning the jackpot you know i mentioned this to tell you that if you're to get married if you're to start any relationship start it with a quality guy because guys with a quality guy you will be at peace you're going to live your happily ever after guys attention i'm not saying my marriage is perfect <laughs> that perfect marriage does not exist but guys i'm at peace i am happy we are so much in love with each other he's my best friend my partner in crime name it all <laughs> yeah so that's kind of a relationship that i really wish for you guys but it all starts from the beginning when you begin the relationship with this guy whether you meet him on online dating sites or even offline and another thing guys i'm not here to judge jennifer and please guys be gentle in your comments <laughs> on the comment section let's just learn from her mistakes i did a video two years ago or three years ago if i remember very well and i told you i remember giving you this tip never ever start a relationship with a guy that tells you still lives under the same roof with the ex-wife never ever because that relationship will not work and from jennifer's love story we have an evidence of what i told you and you guys you know that i'm so good when it comes to online dating dating white guys but i am excellent when it comes to a guy who is divorced and has kids or is about to divorce but has got kids yeah because i've been through that those who know well my story about my husband you know that he has got two kids from his first marriage so that is why i'm telling you i've got enough experience so if you're chatting with a guy he is divorced he has kids and he's telling you things you're not sure if you're a bella baby please come let's talk if you're not a bella baby please please watch the videos that i post here on my youtube because everything is here you'll get all information because even this i mentioned it so guys number one reason to why i told you if a guy is still living under the same roof with the ex-wife it might be maybe the kids are still little and the parents so that they can't support each other anymore they want to end the relationship okay <laughs> maybe the wife cheated or maybe the husband cheated or maybe he changed in the character <laughs> character development and all that so they decided to separate in the house yes still living together in the same house but separated and they have small kids little kids so they sit down and talk because our kids are still little we don't want to confuse them let's make this a secret you know they pretend to still be together <laughs> until the kids grow up so when you meet such kind of a guy online and tells you i still live with my ex-wife you know i'm going to marry you <laughs> <laughs> tell him you are a liar because during that period that they have decided to make it a secret this guy cannot bring a new woman into this kid's life you know and show them this is your stepmother <laughs> no even the mom too even if has a new boyfriend will still keep it a secret till the kids grow and we don't know the age these people have agreed on maybe those kids are two years three years and they want the kids to reach at least 
10 years or seven years. So imagine you waiting for four years, five years. <laughs> in a simple way, that guy is not ready to be in a serious relationship. Leave him as he is. So that is reason number one. Reason, reason number two to why I told you don't date a guy that lives with the ex-wife under the same roof can be, maybe these people had a very serious fight and also talked of the divorce. But at the same time, they still love each other very much. So instead of the guy going on his direction, look for another house, stay in a different address, and the wife too goes to another house or remains in the same house, they be like, let's still stay together and see if we can work things out. <laughs> you know, if it is going to help us. So they're still in that period of observing if anything can change, stop everything of the divorce and get back together. When you meet that guy online, he will only lie to you because eventually we'll go back to the ex-wife. One thing with these white guys, when they decide it's over, it's really over. But if you see him still giving his relationship a chance, you just know that there is still love. So why should you get yourself involved in such kind of a situation? I told you guys, avoid complicated situations while on the dating sites. You chat with a guy, you see that he is in a very complicated situation. No, don't start any relationship. So guys, reason number three, which is the last one to why I told you never give a chance to a guy who still lives or tells you I still live with my ex-wife. It can be because of the finances. And this is very, very critical. Yeah, so you find this guy was married and <laughs> they have kids, but in the course of his marriage, things reach the limit. Maybe on both sides or in, maybe on both sides or on the woman's side, you know, she couldn't support the guy anymore and decide we should separate. And because this guy, if they're going to go through the divorce process, the separation itself, he has to take a new house, you know, live alone there, at the same time support his kids, that's a lot of money. And when he looks at his earnings, maybe his salary, it can't support to pay two rents or it can't support him to pay his own rent, live his separate life, and at the same time, support the kids. You know, it's not enough. So in that case, talks to the wife, let me remain here. Because of you guys that follow me here, I've told you countless times that an interracial relationship needs money. A guy shouldn't be rich, but a good amount of money will get out of his pocket or his wallet <laughs> to make sure you guys stay together. So if he's living under the same roof, his financial situation is like that, how will the guy like that be able to support an interracial relationship? Long time ago, there is a lady I was in contact with and actually made a mistake of starting a relationship with a guy that was still living with the ex-wife under the same roof. All was good and yes, sometimes this guy could send money to her in Africa, 30 euros, 50 euros, you know, 70 euros, those small, small money. <laughs> so when they talked of meeting, cause she came to me and I told her, talk about meeting. It's so important than the money he is sending you. So when they talked, he accepted and was like, I'm going to look for the information and all that. <laughs> then came back and told her, oh my God, I've made a research about it. And I came to find out that I will need to give my bank statement. But we share the same bank account with my ex-wife. I told you I still live with my ex-wife. So I won't be able to invite you. You see, guys? <laughs> so those guys, please, please, it's a no. Never make this kind of a mistake because that relationship will end up into tears. No matter the guy is supporting you financially. Always remember there is an important reason to why the guy is still living with the ex-wife under the same roof. 
and that reason doesn't play a good favor on you yeah so never ever ever let me hope we have learned from this because sadly jennifer didn't know about this though was following me guys maybe had not come across that video that i did advising you guys not to date this kind of men online so guys jennifer gives him the time that he requested you know he requested for more time to clear his mind because he was still confused <laughs> but they keep on communicating and then around may 2024 this year he calls her and tells her that he's supposed to go on a vacation and when jennifer heard that was really happy knowing that he was coming back to kenya because they had agreed he would be going to kenya every three months i have to stop here again and talk about this he tells you he is divorced or he is in a divorce process and has kids then he visits you in your country the first time you allow him to come the second time and still allows him to come the third time that is wrong very very wrong no matter he is going through that divorce process he can still invite you jennifer here was like he said he was going to invite her, but she will stay in a hotel. That's wrong, but it's okay because she knew the guy was still living with the ex-wife under the same roof. If really this guy had good intentions, wanted to marry Jennifer after his divorce, that relationship was really, really serious to him too, just like it was to Jennifer. He was going to invite her in Germany. She was going to stay in the hotel, but could have talked to the ex-wife about Jennifer. So Jennifer could have gone to that house not to sleep because it is the same house where they all live, but just to visit, even meet her because nothing to hide. Everything is over. Not to invite you, then you stay at the hotel, never go to his house because you have to go to that house and confirm what everything this guy has been telling you guys always try to match a guy's words and his actions and another advice i am giving you from today stop falling in love with the guy's words fall in love with his actions fall in love on the way he treats you fall in love on his words and actions matching not only concentrate on the sweet words the promises that he's making to you please please so yeah he tells her i want to go on a vacation this may but i am not going to come to kenya then she's like why is that tells her you know i sat down with my daughter and my ex-wife we had a very deep talk and they requested me not to come to Kenya until the divorce process is over. That is why I'm not coming to Kenya, but I will go to another African country. Again here, Jennifer tries to understand, you know, the whole request of the ex-wife and the daughter. But if you are in Jennifer's shoes, you find yourself in that kind of a situation. No, guys, you can't just be the one to only understand. How about him? He should also consider you. This relationship is for both of you, not only him, that you should accept and say yes to everything that he tells you, not at all. That's when or that's the time to stand on your grounds. And in most cases, when you stand on your grounds, you put your foot on the ground, the guy changes. You start seeing his true colors coming out because the relationship is not going the way he wanted it to go, whereby you should be the one to understand. So guys, yes, Jennifer this time around understands again <laughs> for him not going to Kenya, it's fine. <laughs> then when days were approaching for him to travel, again writes to Jennifer, tells Jennifer, you know what? Yes, I'm traveling, but I think I won't be taking my phone with me. And she's like, what? 
how can you say that? You know, we have a relationship. <laughs> Our relationship depends on communication because it is a long distance relationship. Then Louis responds that, because I'm very, very confused right now. I need time for myself. That is why I'm considering not to take my phone. I need enough time for myself to clear my mind and also ask God's direction, you know, of all this situation. <laughs> then Jennifer is like, it's okay. Whatever will be your choice, I'll be okay with it. Whether you go with your phone or you just decide to leave it home. Because still had hopes that everything will be fine. Then passes some days, he writes to her and is like, I have decided I will take my phone with me. But even if I will take my phone with me, I will be offline most of the times. Because I've told you, I just need time for myself to think very well. Then Jennifer talks to herself that what's the need of taking your phone whereby you're going to be offline? But she tells herself anyways, let me just respect his choices. And one thing about women that always, you know, tries to understand, I'm that understanding girlfriend, these people are not happy. Don't think they are the happiest. <laughs> not at all. Because they tend to keep everything for themselves, but tries, you know, to understand, tries to protect people they love. So one day, Jennifer was at the German school and had this friend that they were studying together. I won't mention her name, but she was also dating a German guy. And right now she is in Germany already. Happily married. <laughs> yeah. So talks to this friend and the friend tells her after listening to her that I think you should go back to the dating apps and sites. I think the guy is wasting your time. So Jennifer responds to her, no problem, I'm going to think about it. Even one time invites her at her place, was really surprised like, are you dating a white guy? <laughs> Cause you know, if you're dating a white guy, you should have, you know, a fancy apartment and all that. It was just normal cause she was just enjoying just a normal life. So when she went to visit, they talked about it again. Jennifer tells her, you know what? Let me just stay in this relationship until I am told it's over. So yeah, Jennifer keeps her relationship and then one time Louis calls her, they start having arguments. Had to be frank and told him, you know, I'm hurt inside. There is no way you just keep me here not to express my feelings to you. What's the meaning of this relationship if I can't express my feelings? Remember, he had put limitations like do not say I love you. So she was telling him, if I can't say I love you, if I can't express my feelings towards you, what's the meaning of this relationship? Please do something about it. But one good question I need to ask you, imagine if it was Jennifer acting the way or behaving the way Louis was behaving. Do you think Louis could have begged Jennifer the way Jennifer was begging Louis? No. For me, the answer is no. The way I see things, this guy didn't care at all on how she feels. So when she told him like that, do something about it, Louis was like, please, I still need more time to think about it. But you who is watching this video, if you're dating a guy and one day he tells you he needs time for himself, <laughs> he needs more time to think about your relationship, block him that same, same day. Cause you will end up hurt. For them, that is like, it's over, you know? <laughs> you should figure it out very, very fast. Don't wait for him to tell it to you straight from his mouth that it's over. For him, things are over, but he's trying to look for ways, you know, to tell you that I no longer need you. And think about it. This guy went to Kenya. Remember the first visit when he went? He even went the second time, enjoyed the goodies, visited her family members, all these important things, you know, to Jennifer that he did and suddenly he is confused. Why is that? He wasn't confused. 
at that first time when he went to Kenya. You know, I'm confused. They can't take the goodies. <laughs> I know right now you guys are laughing, but for me, it doesn't make sense. This guy was just a player. Yeah, but sadly enough, he manipulated very, very well Jennifer. In the name of God, like I'm so prayerful, they could pray together even with Jennifer's grandmother. <laughs> ah, people can pretend. Because if you're going to talk to me about God, you talk about God, your actions too should match, you know, what you're saying about God. So yeah, Jennifer was really, really tired of that situation, but at the same time, loved Louis very, very much. Another question, guys, you should always ask yourself, I'm considering this guy as my boyfriend, okay? I love him very, very much. I can't live without him. But on his side, the way you see him, the way you guys communicate, the way he treats you, does he see you in the same way that you see him? Always ask yourself that. Please, please. Because when you ask yourself that, that's when you start looking at things and opening your eyes that, oh my God, I'm in a toxic relationship. Oh my God. All this while, this guy has been playing games on me and you will end it <laughs> but when you open your eyes and you see he looks at you the same way you look at him then you know you are in good hands you have found yourself a quality guy so here jennifer tells us comes a day she will never forget that day it was 19th of july 2024 it was at 8 and 53 minutes. It's a message from Louis telling her, are you free so that we can talk and I would like you to be alone. So if you're with someone, please find a place that we can talk without anyone hearing us. And at that time, Jennifer tells us was just at home, chilling, you know, with her cousin, watching a certain Kenyan channel, you know, yeah. <laughs> so had to tell the cousin, please, can you give me some, some space? There is a call I need to receive. And the cousin goes out, then tells the guy, you can call. So Louis calls her and then starts by asking her, how are you doing? She's like, I'm fine, a bit. Then he asks her, why a bit? Then she's like, due to the silent treatment, you have been giving me. That's why I'm not fully okay. So Louis tells her, I am sorry, and then follows a cry. He cries, then tells her, I love you. I still love you so much, but this relationship has to come to an end. Hmm. Jennifer says, Bella, it's like I didn't hear what he said. Then told him, what have you said? Can you please repeat again? I did not hear well. He repeats the same. I am very sorry. I love you so much. I still love you. But this relationship should end. It's over. So Jennifer tells us here, remembers telling him, it's okay. I've heard you. And then she hung up on him. What she did, did not cry at all at all. Her cousin came and they kept on watching that Kenyan channel. But at night, when she went to bed, that's when the reality hit her so bad. Tells us was really bitter. Because was telling herself, this is the person that I introduced to the people that are most precious to me. Why didn't he stop it? But you remember... The tip that I gave you recently that you have to protect yourself. A guy won't protect all at all and be like, no, don't introduce me because later it is going to cause, you know, embarrassment to you because I know I'm not sure about what I am doing. No, <laughs> it's you to make sure that you are in safe hands. Yeah. So she was really hurt, cried and cried and cried that night. Jennifer tells us did not sleep, started sending him messages, bad, bad messages to an extent he stopped responding to her, but she kept on sending till 7 
a.m. in the morning. I know he won't respond. So she stopped sending him messages. So she kept on crying to an extent her sister called her to ask, what's up? with you and your boyfriend she was like no we just had a misunderstanding but we're going to sort things out never wanted to tell her sister what was going on so toast us could stay in bed from morning to the next morning stayed inside the house for one week wanted time for herself because tells us her heart was aching a lot really really a lot so during all that time eventually came into a conclusion that it's high time i look for bella and tell her the truth you know of what has happened also tells us met two friends one is judy another one is called faith one they met on instagram group and another one they met on tiktok became really good friends so during that had time those two ladies really stood with her they could pray with her you know read for her bible verses console her that it's okay don't worry it shall come to pass everything will be fine but also could tell her if you feel like crying just let it out and she says if judith and faith comes to watch this video or comes across this video may god bless your relationships and your heart desires so guys back to me my relationship with <laughs> jennifer guys i told you in part one that jennifer wrote to me when louis was going to kenya for that first time and in jennifer's mind had found the one so guys i wasn't guiding jennifer like on her relationship maybe ask louis this question so that we can know he is the one or he's not the one just like i do with my daughters not at all i didn't know this story into details i did not know that jennifer was dating a guy that is still living with the ex-wife under the same roof she brought her story and you know i celebrated with her <laughs> not knowing all was off all was done in a wrong way and i still remember something that told me things might not be going well <laughs> <laughs> we had talked jennifer and i that she will share her love story because they eventually met and you know me guys when we do a story time of course i have to ask you serious questions and if that relationship isn't a success story <laughs> i will notice when you are answering the questions unless you lie to me <laughs> so we talked and jennifer was very excited like yes bella i'm going to share with you my success story you have helped me you know through your videos watching your videos i was able to find this guy i'm so thankful to god <laughs> so i was happy waiting and i gave her time to enjoy so when he left that is the first time guys when he went to kenya and was like bella i was very excited sharing the love story with you but i talked to him he was like no we should wait <laughs> and you know guys i'm not always in a hurry or to pressurize anyone so if you're free to share your stories i'm happy if you're not free to share it's fine it's not that we become enemies or something but you holding that story <laughs> it tells me something is off especially if it is coming from the guy that the story shouldn't be shared out there so i told jennifer it's fine it's totally okay don't worry you know about the story i just wish you all the best <laughs> so guys from that time when we talked jennifer did not stop following me she kept on following me on instagram on youtube watching my videos but we were not like talking about her story i never asked anything again <laughs> until this year july jennifer contacts me and is like bella how much is your fee to be guided i want to be your baby i'm like okay <laughs> so i tell her and yes jennifer pays after paying i think i told her we'll talk tomorrow or i think a day after and guys when jennifer comes back for me i'm prepared you know to start guiding her 
the girl is sending me voice notes crying and crying and crying unstoppable i'm like what happened please tell me then she tells me that the boyfriend just broke up with her oh my god i felt so bad but i started you know encouraging her telling her don't worry telling her you know these online dating guys can be like that but you gotta move on you can't just keep on crying for someone whom you don't know what they are doing at that exact time you might be here crying but on their side they are even celebrating their life is moving on but jennifer kept on crying then i was like wait a minute is it because of this breakup or what's up because i didn't know her story all this story i've told you i did not know anything i came to know about it at that exact time so i was like is it your daughter responded to me yes bella cause i have failed her I failed her so so much even my mom i've disappointed her so much my grandma bella you just don't know but i felt her guys i deeply deeply felt her pain so i kept on encouraging her you know i talked to her for so long i think that day i made a call eventually it was like bella i feel better after talking to you i feel better so she kept on with her life healing slowly by slowly then again louis writes to her that you know i have these five letters to the most important people in your life you know explaining that i am the one that ended the relationship and not you for me i didn't see the reason to why you know he should send those letters so yes guys the way i see things this guy is very clever even the crying thing <laughs> this was you know staged yeah because he wanted to cry to show that i care that is why i'm crying to lose you <laughs> but if you really cared you couldn't have gone to see my family you couldn't have allowed me to introduce you to my daughter you couldn't have promised the things that you promised to me so they took that time and again he writes to her can we call then jennifer goes to her mom's room you know a private area and then he tells her oh the daughter's situation is still bad and he is still fighting for his family you know <laughs> he has stopped the divorce process so at that time because jennifer had healed told him it's fine i pray for your daughter to get peace i pray for your family you guys to get back together your relationship to be more stronger than before so prayed for him and wished him all the best also told him i forgive you <laughs> ah this lady <laughs> she has got a golden heart but if it was me i couldn't have done that to be honest at all at all especially after finding out you played me all along so after jennifer telling him those good words praying for him you know and the daughter you know wanting the family you know to keep being strong <laughs> he says thank you and the conversation ends so jennifer sits down and then remembers when he came to kenya requested for two best pictures <laughs> of jennifer to be put on a frame and he took them with him to germany so jennifer sends him a message and is like you know i was wondering now that everything is over between me and you what are you going to do to those pictures then the guy responds to obviously i was planning to destroy them then jennifer is like instead of you destroying them please can you send them back to me then the guy is like definitely tomorrow i'll send them back to you <laughs> you can't imagine guys the next day he sends the box is ready to be sent to kenya <laughs> of those photos i'm going to be showing that box here or here so guys that's how things ended and this guy told jennifer you know even if my ex-wife refuses and says wants a divorce i'll still not come back to you i'll still keep fighting for my family <laughs> but jennifer was like it's fine no problem so after all this jennifer tells you that decided to start from zero 
started watching all my videos and noting down everything. He's very, very careful of whom she interacts on the dating sites. Told God, I'm going to involve you and Bella in my journey. Please, God, help me. So, guys, right now I am guiding Jennifer in her journey to search for the right guy. And I'm telling you, she has learned from her mistakes. Her eyes are wide open. Even it's like Bella, I've seen lots of things that I wasn't seeing before <laughs> that were wrong in my relationship. And I pray, I believe that Jennifer will eventually find that right guy, that quality guy, a guy that will treat her so, so good. Not like the treatments that she got from Louis. So dear friends, please read through this guy's message and you can clearly see his words don't match. Not only actions, but <laughs> his words too. When they started having problems with Jennifer, he told her the daughter used to cut herself because doesn't want the divorce to continue, doesn't want the parents to divorce, but added the wife too cries so much because doesn't want the divorce to continue, wants him to stop the divorce process. But in this message, you can see he's telling Jennifer, I am going to beg my wife for forgiveness <laughs> so that I can stop the divorce process. And if a guy lies to you once, he will keep on lying and lying and lying. He is a liar. Yeah. So there is nothing I can believe about this guy. He talks of God. Oh, God will protect you. God is going to strengthen us. He's just a hypocrite. So she gives you some advice and her advice number one is pray, 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 put everything into God's hands. Also, watch my videos very carefully. Don't only watch the success stories, but even the stories that did not go well. Even those videos that I'm giving you tips and tricks of online dating. And if you are capable of paying for the guidance, pay for it. Won't be in vain. Advice number two is to be really careful with the advice that you get on social media, maybe on YouTube, because most people are also giving their guidance, but some, not all, can mislead you. Gives an example, at the time she was searching, you know, she had that pressure, could watch success stories, could watch other channels and she could get that pressure i want also a muzungu of my own <laughs> without watching the red flags so please watch the red flags and choose whom to listen for her says i've chosen to listen to bella's advice and that's it <laughs> no one else <laughs> she also adds if she could have listened to my advice could not have gone through what she went through in this relationship her advice number three, do not be desperate. While you are searching for that right man, go through those guys' profiles because they tell a lot. Yeah, and she is happy to be my baby now. <laughs> number four, find something to keep you busy while searching for love. Because if you don't have anything to do, you will find yourself investing time on the dating sites and pressuring yourself, giving yourself stress for nothing. Another thing that has helped her so, so much after this breakup is the Bible that he gifted her, that she thanks him <laughs> for gifting her that Bible. You know, she reads the Bible so much, is so close to God right now, and also her business keeps her very, very busy, also taking care of her daughter. So dear friends, we have reached an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching till now. I really appreciate much for your love and your support. Please give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will learn something from this video. Please comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. 
please subscribe if you haven't subscribed subscribe now and thank you so much for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao